Hey guys, Pop Freak here, and before I say, before I talk again in this video, I just want to say I'm a little bit sick. That's so bad. You know, my voice just kind of squeaky and sh Today, we're going to be doing my C2E2 Everything You Need to Know. Basically, just preparing you guys because tomorrow is C2E2. I know a lot of people, uh, well, let's just jump right into it and I'll tell you everything you know revolving the Funko shop, retailer-wise, etc. So much stores this time around where it's actually worth hunting for, which sucks because for Comic-Cons, I always go hunting for either way. I always do. It's just kind of in my blood to like go pop hunting during every Comic-Con there is, how small or how big. So I think we should just talk about the Funko Shop because the Funko Shop this time around is the main consumer basically. So the Proto and Freddy and Franny, those are in the Funko Shop. Those are all, I think, 3,000 pieces each. I think they're dropping like 1,100 each or something. I'm not entirely sure. Or be on that if you guys want them. Stuff that like would be worth flipping. I was, I would say Franny, but she's going for like 70 or 80. So she might be one of the ones that are good to flip at least. Stark, now Tony Stark one, it's a really cool one that will sell out. I think over time might not be first day. I don't like see that selling out in three or six minutes. Again, again, I could be shocked with how much Marvel fans there are. Everything goes live 9 a.m. EST, 6 a.m. PST, and I think 8 a.m. CST, I think. And Iron Man, they put 17,000 up, so I don't really know if it's going to sell out right away. It definitely will sell out in the long run and will be hopefully worth some money. That Poochie, I think that's what it's called, The Simpsons, has about 4,100 stock loaded in. That is pretty low for a Simpsons pop, so this could sell out potentially. What we got is we got Madara from Naruto Shippuden. This one has, I believe, like 14,000. So again, this will probably sit, unfortunately. Got a Dragon Ball, I think it's Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball, I'm not entirely sure. But this one also has, like, I think, 13 or 14,000 loaded in. And it's an anime one. I have Mirio Helmeted. This one has around 8,000 stock loaded in, which they're always making a lot, of, a lot of stock for anime pop. Egghead Jr. Pop. I heard a rumor that this one was like a 1,000 pieces or some shit. I saw it on Twitter. I don't know how reliable that is. Um, or they said they were going to put 500 up in the Funko shop. I don't know how reliable that is, but again, like, no one has posted the stock for it, so it could be a shocker sellout tomorrow. I mean, I, I don't really know if it's going to sell out tomorrow, but, like, it kind of makes me wonder why all the stocks for those were showed up for all the Funko exclusives, I think, were shown besides the Egghead Jr. I'm wondering myself. I'm not sure. That's going to brick up. It's going to be that's not even going to sound like I'll sell out, unfortunately. It's not a good Looney Tunes character, at least for me. Like, if they made a Flaghorn, I mean, that's what he's called. You know, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, son. I, I don't know if these are going to sell out. I think they are, but I think it's going to take time. But we're talking about the One Piece Pop something poster and the, um, I don't know how I see the name, so I'm just going to call it Seizure Clown. The Seizure Clown. 29,000 stock loaded in. Build a lightsaber! You failed! And that's just on the website. We're not talking about the show only stock. Funko Hollywood, Funko HQ, International. They could easily have made 40,000 of this pop. Up the Shanks Wanted poster. That has 20,000 stocks loaded in. Um, it's going to retail for 30 bucks, by the way. All the other pops are going to cost 15. So yeah, the um, Shanks cover will be costing 30 bucks USD, and all the other ones 15 bucks each for Funko exclusives. So yeah, these ones I think they're gonna I think they're gonna sell out in like 12 minutes. I'm gonna be honest, but. It depends how badly the Funko Shop is going to crash. Badly they're going to crash. Uh, again, yeah, so that's what's coming out for the Funko Shop. Um, the One Piece ones, they're, the Shanks is going for like 70 bucks shared. The Seizure Clown, I think, is like 70 bucks too. So easily, if you buy them both, you could easily bundle them for like 170 looking to resell them. But what they did say in the email too is this is the first time that Funko was ever going to be doing a bundle of all their C2E2 pops. So that can add on to how much more stock for Seizure Clown could be in those boxes. That bundle is going live, I believe, at noon tomorrow. It's going to retail 
for three eighteen or something shipping's like twenty bucks. I could be wrong. So send the email to like select exclusives will go up on the website. So I'm not thinking the pops or GameStop, Target, Barnes Nobles or a box lunch could go up. I mean, they very well could. I could just be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But let's get into the retailer aspects. So GameStop, um, they're getting, I don't know if this is working with the Pro Week, because this is like Pro Week, where Pro Award members of GameStop get like a hella good deal on Pops Um, that is not C2E2 related to, because, well, it's Pro Week and I can get a good deal on it. I'm always down for good deals on Pops. Woody and Buzz 2-Pack, this is going to cost $25. The SKU will be up on the screen because if you go to GameStop they most likely would not be on the shelf you're gonna have to ask someone to go in the back and get it for you and same goes for Target too um uh, but we're gonna talk about Target in a sec with GameStop I do think this one could sell out in the long run I could be wrong because when I called one of my GameStop station they only got three in they got three in so you know, I'm hoping that's all around because, again, like, if we're talking about SDCC 2019, New York Comic Con 2019, those were amazing times when con pops were actually limited. I remember they got two or one of the Kane Kodos two-pack. Man, I love that pop so much. Amazing pop that I had. Now on the Target. So Target has a six-inch Poe. Here's a DPCI, which you'll be needing. The Green Lantern one, uh, that... I don't even know if anybody's going for that Green Lantern one. If I'm being completely... I don't know. I got to try to make myself laugh. So the Poe's going to retail for 30 bucks. The two-pack of GameStop will be 25 bucks. And yeah, the show only at C2E2 was a shirt. Okay, that... All right. Barnes Nobles is getting the 10-inch Pokemon Funko Pop. Um, Now, mine has it, I think. Someone told me they have 15 in the warehouse. I'm really hoping that's not true. Too much. This one retail for 40. This one retail for 45 bucks. I do want it, but I think I'm going to wait because you know I can't drop 45 bucks on that. It actually did go up for order one point um in time, I think. It might went up for like like code name undiscovered or something kind of. I could be wrong because I mean I'm not wrong. My friend Saki, he bought it and he resold it for 170. But again, I'm not sure this one will sell out. If it does, all right, cool. I'll just get it. Um, I, I want to get it, but I just have the pass. I don't got that much money now. And the last pop coming out, or soda, is Jiminy Cricket from Box Lunch. This is this is thirteen thousand made, I think. So I'm hoping they get like six per store or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Like again, they raised up their prices on pops. So this soda could be twenty bucks, and I have no idea. Twenty bucks or eighteen, I don't know. Whatever way you want, that soda is not selling out. You most likely could get that five below or TJ Maxx or something in the next couple of months, years. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up my C2E2 on my C2E2 guide. Let me know what you're excited for and what you're gonna be going for tomorrow. Yes, I'm still sick. I'm gonna be going hunting still. Um, I plan on going hunting, you know, after I get what I want on the Funko Shop. So, good luck, everyone, if you're going to the Funko Shop tomorrow. You know, um, it's probably gonna crash like it always does for con drops and. You know, but anyways, uh, out, I'm out, guys. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys. Peace. It is fitting that you perish, just as your mother perished. <laughs>